Hello, Cardano community. My name is Aparna Jew, and I am IOHK's product director. My team, who you'll get to meet in this forum, and I are accountable for Cardano. So we're really excited to jumpstart this product to community relationship via monthly touch points. And although today's version is a recording, starting in March, we will do a live cast and encourage your participation so you get to know us better and understand how and what we're working on. Now, granted, I've only been here a few months, but the collaborative culture and the smarts of these people that I get to work with every day is really inspiring. Uh, we are a hardworking product group, and uh, my role is really to enhance this organization with a product-driven mindset, which is really all about focusing on uh, the story of the product, and in this case, the story of Cardano. What are the main problems we're trying to solve? What are the problems we need to solve? Why would we be the best fit to do that? How would we do that? And uh, this part's very important. For whom do we need to design this to make it easy, efficient, and adoptable? And then, of course, how do we get the message out? So there are a lot of pieces to this story that are already in play and have been in play. So for me, it's really to focus on getting the voice of our users and the community into this roadmap to validate some of these pieces and the story at every step. A uh, good example is uh, this uh, right now in London, we're doing a stake pool operator focus group and uh, we're listening and we're learning. And the point is to bring those learnings back into the product. So we're constantly building upon uh, the experiences of our users. Now, besides a great product story, there is the delivery and there is marketing. And those are key areas that we're also working on um, to, of course, continuously get better at and, um, and have a better presence in the market. So Cardano as a solution has uh, key components that harmonize, of course, to provide us the different eras in the roadmap. And uh, today I have the pleasure of handing this off to our product management team. You will meet five of our product managers uh, for different components within Cardano, and they will introduce themselves and what they're responsible for. And uh, you'll also hear an update on some key milestones that we recently had, such as the OBFD update and the ITN. Now to wrap up on my end, we're rolling towards the upcoming Byron reboot and of course Shelly, which is really exciting, and more to come on that in the next installment. Uh, take care and we'll talk to you next time. Hi, I'm Kevin Hammond and I'm the Product Manager at IOHK for the Cardano Node. I've been with IOHK for the last six months, before which I was working in academia at St Andrews University and Glasgow University on functional programming, static analysis and type systems. Whilst I was at Glasgow, I put monads into the Haskell design and I also wrote the first ever Haskell compiler. I'm particularly passionate about Cardano because it's building the basis for a better world through its innovative approach to blockchain and smart contracts. The project is building heavily on the capabilities that I've helped to develop in Haskell and on the static analysis and formal methods work that I've done in the past. I'm particularly excited that IOHK is pushing back the frontiers of software engineering by the exciting mixture that it's taking of flexible formal methods combined with agile software development techniques. We're excited to be releasing a refresh of the Byron implementation of the Cardano node in the very near future. This is important to us because it's building the basis for the future of Cardano and for all the other products that are in the pipeline and which my colleagues uh, will be telling you about. In particular, the Byron refresh is a key step on the road to full Cardano centralization. We're not yet decentralized, but 
through through the Byron refresh, we will be able to move away and transition from the current federated setting towards the fully decentralized world of the Shelley implementation. And the node is particularly exciting because the software has been developed using IOHK's new high assurance formal based software development methodology. So we'll be delivering the refresh to you by the end of March 2020. And we'll also be making available to you at the same time a full security audit of the software that's being produced. These are exciting times. I'm looking forward uh, to the, re the release and to the future developments that we'll build on top of this. Hello, Cardano community. My name is Darko Mij, and I'm product manager for Daedalus. I'm happy to have this opportunity to introduce myself to the community. I have joined IOHK in September of 2016, three and a half years ago. I have 20 years of experience in the IT industry in all phases and disciplines of software delivery. Up until 2014, I was working with Enterprise Java and IBM Technologies as a software developer and software architect, mostly in traditional banking and government sectors. At some point that stopped being exciting to me, so I've changed gears and started working as a freelance JavaScript developer. My second freelance gig brought me to IOHK, where I wrote the first lines of code for Daedalus with one other colleague. I was with Daedalus from the very beginning, so I understand the product well. I'm excited to be part of the Cardano project for its ambition. I'm looking forward to seeing it grow into a social operating system that will benefit everyone in the world, especially the unbanked. As Daedalus and Cardano evolved and matured over time, my role in the company was also changing. I'm proud to now be a part of the strong product team at IOHK. Daedalus is a desktop wallet for Cardano's ADA cryptocurrency. All major desktop platforms are supported. It runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It is a full node wallet, and it's bundled with Cardano node. A full node wallet downloads a full copy of the blockchain and independently validates every block and every transaction in the history of the blockchain against Cardano protocol. This enables fully trustless operation without reliance on third-party servers and services and provides maximum security and privacy. Currently, we have two versions of Daedalus in production. We have Daedalus for the mainnet and Daedalus for the incentivized testnet, called Daedalus Rewards. The last major release of Daedalus for the mainnet was in October of 2019. All recent Daedalus development was focused on building Shelly MVP features for the incentivized testnet. We had three major Daedalus releases for the incentivized testnet, and Daedalus Rewards is now almost feature complete. The finalization of Daedalus features for the incentivized testnet is a big milestone for Daedalus. We can now focus on delivering the next major milestones. It is also important because it was a learning experience, and the software we've built will serve as a basis for Shelly on the mainnet. Key features we have built for the incentivized testnet include Sleek new theme designed for the incentivized testnet. Support for balance wallets. Balance wallets are copies of the mainnet Byron wallets which existed on the mainnet at the time of the balance snapshot. Support for rewards wallets. Rewards wallets are new Shelly compatible wallets that support delegation and other Shelly features. Balance wallet to rewards wallet transfer feature. Automatic transaction creation for moving all funds from a balance wallet to a rewards wallet. Yoroi Wallet Support Both Balance and Rewards Yoroi Wallets can now be restored and used with Daedalus. The same wallet can be kept in both Daedalus and Yoroi and used at the same time. Ledger and Trezor Hardware Wallet Restoration This is not full hardware wallet support that will allow hardware wallets to be used with Daedalus. This is hardware wallet restoration, allowing users to use a hardware wallet recovery phrase to recreate a hardware wallet in Daedalus. Newsfeed Feature the newsfeed securely delivers news to Daedalus users directly via the user interface. Shelly MVP features which include the Delegation Center, which provides details of the current Cardano epoch on the incentivized testnet, and an overview of all rewards wallets and their delegation preferences. Delegation Wizard, a guided setup for delegating and undelegating wallets and their stake. Pending Delegation Preferences 
Changes to delegation preferences don't take effect immediately. To better represent this pending state, the delegation center in Daedalus now displays details of all pending delegation changes and information about when any change will take effect. Stake pools that are currently earning rewards for a wallet are now marked with ADA symbol in the user interface. Stake pool browsing, a list of stake pools and their details, ordered by desirability. A rewards tab, an aggregated view of earnings for all rewards wallets with support for exporting to CSV. We have also improved some of the core features during the development of the incentivized testnet. Transaction filtering. The transaction filtering feature enables users to filter their transactions by transaction type, ADA received or ADA sent, date, and ADA amount. Redesign and faster wallet restoration process. The wallet restoration process is completely redesigned to accommodate a larger number of supported wallets, including Euroi wallets and hardware wallets. Restoring a wallet now takes a couple of minutes instead of a couple of hours. Parallel wallet restoration is also supported. In this update, I would like to mention the next two major milestones for Daedalus briefly. First, we are working on Byron Tribute release. This release will not include any new major features compared to what we currently have on the mainnet, but it will be a genuinely significant release because it will consist of completely rewritten both Cardano Node and Cardano Wallet backend, which is now part of Adrestia. This release will significantly improve the performance, stability, and correctness of the code we have in production, and serve as a solid foundation for Shelly. The second major milestone after Byron Reboot is Shelly Testnet followed by the Shelly Mainnet. We are working on expanding and refining Shelly features developed for the incentivized testnet for the first Shelly Haskell testnet release. We will be discussing those two upcoming major milestones in more detail in the forthcoming product update videos. Stay tuned for those. Hello, IOHK. Just wanted to say it's been an honor and a privilege so far working with you all. I'll tell you a little bit about myself uh, as a member of the product team. I'm in charge of Adrestia, which means that I do product management with respect to all the APIs and libraries to connect with the core node, uh, including clients like the Explorer and wallets like Daedalus and Uroi. I've been with IOHK for seven months now. I have about 15 years in product management specifically and about 25 years in technical product management uh, coming mostly from the telecom, mobile, and payment space uh, recently with blockchain experience in the past five years. And I'm passionate about being here because I'm very uh, focused on serving the unbanked and working with you all. And I got into blockchain through... Uh, applying technical infrastructure for social good. I helped develop technology to essentially provide a way to make direct donations using your mobile device at, at scale. So I started, helped start a company called Mobile Cause that uh, helped uh, support over 3,000 nonprofits and charities where 100% of the money went to those charities. And I think a similar technology like Cardano can also be applied to give people uh, in unbanked regions an alternative to mainstream banking and to empower them in the process. Look forward to working with you all and appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day. Hi everyone, my name is Nebojša. Uh, I'm the product manager for Gorgon era of Cardano. I've been with IHK since September last year. I'm a former software developer with uh, more than 10 years of product management experience in telecoms and in software services. Uh, I joined work on Cardano First, because it's a great opportunity to work on the cutting edge in blockchain tech. And uh, like other projects in this space, it has the potential to transform how people interact with each other in global and local economies, but also to have a great social impact well beyond that. And like many others, I became interested in blockchain as an alternative to the current financial system with its many flaws, not least of which is the highly unequal wealth distribution worldwide. So when I got the chance to get directly involved through a friend, I jumped at it. So what's Gorgon all about? So Gorgon will open up Cardano to any developer who wants to join us in building an ecosystem of interoperable, secure, decentralized applications on our platform. It will enable new solutions in both peer-to-peer -peer and enterprise setup. So what's different about Gorgon? So it will bring lots of new functionality with it. So anyone will be able to define and issue their own cryptocurrencies and digital goods, as well as tokenize real-world assets. All this will be possible with minimum need to write any smart contracts code. 
On top of that, it will be possible to implement standard financial products using Marlow, a domain-specific language optimized for financial services. Developers will benefit from a substantial code base with reference implementations of widely used financial instruments. We are also looking into building visual tools for non-developers in finance, making it possible to, de to devise uh, financial products with little to no coding required. And last but not least, developers will be able to build decentralized apps for any problem domain using Plutus, a general-purpose smart contracts programming language for Cardano. So our engineering team is building foundations and infrastructure to open up possibilities for DAP developers to build solutions for a wide range of use cases. Uh, so where are we now with this? So we are gearing up for Gogan delivery. Our team is optimizing developer and non-developer tools, which we hope to make available in the short term. We are also working with technology partners to build uh, dApps for uh, our platform. Uh, so exciting times ahead and looking forward to sharing with more with you soon. Hello, Cardano community. I am really happy to have the chance to introduce myself to our community today. My name is Rob Cohen, and I'm an IOHK product manager. My focus is on performance and scaling in the Cardano ecosystem, or as you may know it, the Basho era. I joined the company after attending the IOHK Haskell course hosted in Barbados in January of 2018, so I've been with the company for about 26 months now. After the course, I joined the company as a Haskell dev, but around a year in, I moved over to a product management role after proposing an idea I had. Since then, I've been working as a product manager full-time focused on managing the scaling and performance efforts for Cardano. Prior to IOHK, I worked in the InfoSec industry as a security engineer and as a pen tester. My involvement in the InfoSec world runs back to the late 90s when I started attending 2600 meetings in New York City. Ever since then, InfoSec has been a love and a passion of mine, and that theme continues in my work at IOHK. I care about working on Cardano because of the world-class research and methodology that the platform is built on. Our research is really second to none in the industry. Even more important to me, though, is the vision for Cardano, which is to empower users, as opposed to extracting value from them, which appears to be the common goal of so many other tech companies. So let's talk about Basho. The Basho era is focused on the performance of Cardano and its ability to scale. Basho will leverage second layer technologies like state channels and payment channels to push the capacity and performance of the network far above what is feasible on layer one. Sidechain technology will also play a strong role in expanding the capabilities of Cardano. Leveraging these approaches will allow Cardano to become one of the highest performing blockchains available while still maintaining a core commitment to decentralization. You can expect to hear more about Basho era products and research in the coming weeks. So stay tuned.